Hello everyone and you are watching Engineers Fit. I am Prabhash and I welcome you all to Engineers Fit. To score good marks in examination, you just need to share that you just score good marks in an easy subject first. So let's begin with a subject as easy as hydrology. So what do you mean by hydrology? Hydrology is nothing but it's a branch of science which deals with surface and underground water. So we are going to study about water that is in surface as well as in underground. And as for a book point of view, hydrology is a branch of science which deals with occurrence, circulation and distribution of water within earth and earth's atmosphere. So let's begin with the two statements first. So it's a branch of science which deals with surface and underground water. So we are going to study about what for book point of view, it's a branch of science which deals with occurrence circulation and distribution of water within earth and earth's atmosphere to understand this statement let's study about hydrological cycle first within hydrological cycle you can understand the value of this statement so let's begin with hydrological cycle to begin and understanding hydrological cycle let's see the diagram and let's analyze what are there in the diagram so you can see there is a mountain here your house may be here many trees are present i have taken one tree there may be a pond and at last there is sea so what happens due to sun's radiation water vapor goes to the atmosphere the due to sun's radiation the water present in the sea or maybe pond gets heated up and the water vapor goes to the atmosphere and that process is known as evaporation so what happens evaporation takes place next Due to the presence of trees, some amount of water vapor goes to the atmosphere and that process is known as transpiration. So what happens due to evaporation and some amount of transpiration, what happens? Clouds are formed. So clouds are formed, that doesn't mean rain will occur at this only place. What happens? Clouds are formed, but the wind is moving. So, so clouds transfer due to the speed of the wind. And at last, what happens? Rainfall takes place. So let's draw rain. And the term rain is also known as precipitation. What is precipitation? We are going to see the next class. So let's write the term rain as precipitation. So the rain takes place. What happens? The rain doesn't strike the ground first. Though the ground's elevation is lower than the elevation of the tree and the lower than the elevation of your house, the rainwater strike the house and the rainwater is striking the trees first. So what happens? The loss is occurred and that loss is known as interception loss. So before striking the ground there is some loss occurred that is known as interception loss and after interception loss the rainwater strike the ground. Then what happens before occurring of rain the field is completely dry. The field is completely dry means the soil has, has some capacity to hold the water. That capacity is known as field capacity. The soil has some capacity to hold the water thus what happens infiltration takes place. What happens 
sometimes the water is held in some ditches and there is some loss is also occurred that loss is known as depression storage the infiltration takes place there may uh, is groundwater table present below the soil layer so groundwater table is present and infiltration is takes place there may be some deep infiltration and that deep infiltration is known as percolation so deep infiltration is known as percolation the entirely percolated water doesn't meet the groundwater table. Some amount of percolated water will meet in the groundwater table. Rest what happens, there will be some underground flow. That is known as groundwater flow. So after the saturation capacity of the soil is exhausted, what happens? The soil doesn't hold any more water. So what happens? The uh, whatever the water is coming from the precipitation is flow over the ground surface. And that flow is known as runoff. So what happens at first the soil was completely dry the rainfall takes place the some amount of rainfall water goes inside inside the ground soil has some uh, capacity to holding the uh, water after the capacity is getting fulfilled the soil can't um, take any more water so what happens the rain, rainfall water generally flows over the ground uh, flows over the ground is known as runoff. The example I can give that uh, suppose a rain, uh, rain started at 6 a.m. You can't see the rain water moving on the ground exactly at 6 a.m. You can see after some hours suppose you can see at 10 a.m. the water is moving on the ground that uh, is known as runoff. So this is the complete uh, process and that complete process is known as hydrological cycle. So I hope you can understand at first due to sun radiation water vapor moves up and that process is evaporation due to evaporation clouds are formed then precipitation occurs rainfall occurs some amount of water goes to the ground and some amount of water just flows over the ground and that is runoff and what happens at last runoff water and ground water flow just me meet any stream and and again the same process is started and the hydrological cycle and that process is continuous so let's write whatever we have learned so we have seen the hydrological cycle and let's discuss some of the important points that i have told you in the hydrological cycle what is the first point first point is evaporation it is the process in which liquid changes to gaseous state I have told you due to sun's presence water vapor goes to the atmosphere and that process is known as evaporation next transpiration process by which water leaves the body of a plant and goes to into the atmosphere as water vapor so the trees generally produce some amount of water vapor and that water vapor goes to the atmosphere and that process is known as transpiration so next is interception loss so this is the amount of water that is captured by vegetation or other obstruction i have told you that the elevation of trees and houses is generally more than the elevation of normal ground surface so what happens the rain water strike the trees and uh, your house first so that house is an obstruction and some amount of water is lost and that loss of water is known as interception loss you can note down this statement 
so depression stories i have told you that the ground is not completely horizontal there may be present some amount of ditches and sums you can see some amount of water is just stored in a ground and that storage is known as depression storage this is the water which is stored in ditches and sums and the definition is these three definitions is not quite important but it can help you understanding the subject next the important definition is infiltration and the chapter infiltration we will deeply discuss in the uh, upcoming videos so infiltration what is infiltration infiltration is the movement of water through soil into the groundwater table so i have told you that the ground is completely dry before occurring of rain so what happens rain water infiltrated into the ground so infiltration is the movement of water through soil into the groundwater table so uh, we have to note a following point the maximum rate at which the water can be absorbed by the soil is called infiltration capacity so after discussing those points let's proceed further and the next important point is runoff runoff i have told you that the if uh, soil has certain amount of holding the water and that capacity is known as field capacity after the soil has exhausted to holding its further capacity so what happens the water moves uh, on the ground surface and that moving water is known as runoff also there will be some movement movement of water through the ground surface to the stream and that is also known as runoff so let's discuss further runoff is the flowing away of precipitation precipitation is nothing but rain from a catchment then flow over the surface is known as surface runoff the what is the water just flowing over the surface is known as surface runoff and delayed flow entering the stream is known as waste flow delayed flow means what is delayed flow let me tell you so suppose this is a ground and rain is coming so what happens the infiltration takes place and there is a ground water table so whatever the uh, water just going on the surface that is known as surface runoff and then what happens the, there will be some infiltration so what happens there will be delayed flow means suddenly the water infiltrated into the ground that won't uh, go and meet the stream after some amount of time it will um, flow under the uh, ground uh, uh, and it will be meeting the stream and that is known as base flow the use of base flow will detail study in hydrographs next understand a beautiful equation so what is precipitation precipitation is equal to initial losses plus infiltration plus runoff plus evaporation so why i am writing evaporation does evaporation takes place while rainfall is occur yes evaporation takes place while rainfall is occur evaporation a 24 hours process evaporation continues until 24 hours means it's a continuous process but uh, while the occurring of rainfall the evaporation is quite low so we can take it as zero as it is quite negligible so whatever the precipitation is equal to initial losses plus in the infiltration plus runoff so what is initial losses initial losses i have discussed initial losses is interception loss plus depression storage so you can remember this expression that precipitation p equal to initial losses plus filtration plus runoff so we have discussed the hydrological cycle and we have discussed the following important points that may be helpful to understand the subject further just remember these important definitions and now i am going to tell you the important portions of the subject that is important in the examination point of view so let's move further let's now discuss the important chapters from the chapter hydrology so the these are the following chapters but what are the important chapters for exam point of view that is precipitation that is infiltration and hydrograph and as well as well hydraulics 
I will discuss all those important parts, important points from the chapter and those important points will definitely come in examination and those important points I have taken what uh, in the past years in the examination I have asked. So I will discuss all those important points briefly and you can take it as from the precipitation chapter the most important part is calculation of missing rainfall data and thyssen polygon method from infiltration the most important part is calculation of find x and Horton's equation uh, next hydrograph is a complete important chapter and every year you can expect a definite question from hydrographs and uh, from hydrographs important chapters are unit hydrographs and how to plot a hydrograph using s curve method the well hydraulics is a very much important part also so let me tell you the weightage of this subject the weightage of the subject hydrology is, is usually four to six marks last year in the set one there is a uh, and there is a uh, weightage of four marks in the uh, set one and in the set two the weightage is usually five marks so last year there is also question from fine index hydrographs well hydraulics and basic precipitation probability so let me tell you the best book now for the subject you can know that uh, some of you maybe follow the any kind of book but I will suggest the hydrology and water resource engineering by SK Gug. why I am recommending this book because the problems you can self study and the problems were quite much important and last year a problem from fine index that concept is from this book this book also holds some of the previous engineering services conventional questions as well as there is so, so many important objective questions that that is present in the book so if you like to study any book so i hope you will buy this book i am not marketing this book but i feel this book is quite important for if you like to study but if you are a final year student the, the syllabus is not completely there in the book but you can uh, just mark the important chapters by matching the syllabus and if you are all a pass out student and some of the problems fr from above chapters will be helpful if you just follow this book uh, else it's okay that depend upon you how you want to proceed with this subject so that's all from the today's lecture in the next le next lecture we'll begin with the subject precipitation so till now I hope I hope you have understand the important terms and hydrological cycle and let's meet in the next lecture thank you thank you for watching this video